Hey guys, we are creating this huge, amazing Pokemon, Red Mega Gyarados. Is it shiny? It's been such a long time since I created the last Pokemon on this channel. I'm so excited about this project because it was an important part of my childhood. Playing the Blue Edition um, and also exchanging and trading Pokemons for the first time with my friends. So this time we are creating Mega Gyarados in the... Is it really the shiny version? I'm struggling with these to define which Pokemon is shiny or not because I stopped playing Pokemon Go. I'm curious to know who of you is still playing the Pokemon Go. I know that a few games have been released on the Switch. Um, yeah, maybe I will give it a try as one of the next games. I'm currently playing... I'm actually playing Animal Crossing right now. I'm, I'm a little bit shy to admit this. Um, yeah, I created the Animal Crossing Island on a toilet paper roll some while ago and I thought I'd give it a try uh, together with my sons and we did so this weekend. But now let's talk about the Pokemon. Let's talk about Megi, Me Megi, Mega Shiny Gyarados. We are creating together with a stand, with a tiny environment, this water landscape. It's quite similar to the Lugia tutorial, which I did like four years ago. And I also wanted to mention that it's not my first Gyarados video. I created the regular blue one um, also like four or five years ago on a bigger scale. So this time I'm somehow combining these two videos and also making the red version, which looks pretty sick, at least for me. So we are adding some waves into this tiny landscape diorama. This is optional, I'm not really sure if it's a good idea. Adding the liquid clay, it gets transparent after oven hardening. It's sometimes a good idea to use it to create water and water effects. This time it's working okay, I guess. Maybe transparent polish will be the better solution. Let's put this into the oven so that we can now start working and defining the water. Okay, maybe we need a white pen, an acrylic marker to define some of these beautiful waves. I start right at the edge to work on the shape of the water. Then it's pretty simple. All I do is highlighting um, the tops of these waves. Once it is dried, we can switch over to the transparent polish and I think it will get a really shiny, beautiful look. Um, used also <laughs> a pretty similar technique on the World of Warship tutorial um, and I sticked with this because it's so beautiful using the big pointing tool to create all these waves. It looks so organic. That's it. The water landscape. If you like, you can create your own Mega Gyarados. I'll provide you with all the clay colors, the pen, the transparent polish and the blueprint and the wire. You get it on clayclaim.com. Check it out. I'll link it right here. Back to the creation. We switch over to the aluminum wire to get the shape of Gyarados right. Hit the subscribe and the bell button to make sure not to miss any future Pokemon tutorials. I'm somehow hooked and I have a few more Pokemon on my list which I want to create. So please subscribe, hit the bell. It means so much to me to get your support and also to create for you. So if you have any suggestions what the next Pokemon should be, please leave it down in the comments. So we have two colors. We have the red version and this ochre where I also threw in 
um, a little bit of lime orange. Lemon, lemon, lime, lemon, lemon, lemon. <laughs> so we have the different segments of Gyarados, <laughs> which we are now lining up on the wire. <laughs> the head part has only the, the red and on top we are creating the fins. We need actually two lines of fins. This time I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I looked at some images, thought, oh, we only have one line of fins, but I'm changing this in a minute. I wanted to focus on the Bordeaux red. And this goes from the top to the end of the tail. You could also use a pen if you have a dark red pen for this highlight. With some further wire we can create a tiny stand. It makes it way more easy to work on the other side. If it stands, still. And then, well, this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> creating the second line of these fins. I should have spent a little more time on the reference images. I'm pretty sure there's a 3D model in Pokemon Go, so I would have recognized the second line of the fins. Now for the head. It looks complicated, but it isn't. Looks like a duck tail right now. We have the snoot, the white opened mouth, uh, also with a dark red inside. Uh, then we are adding a little bit ochre to this color to create the tongue flesh color. Just making it a little bit brighter. You could also use white. And then we have this um, small, this narrow outline around the lips. All is missing the teeth. And also these, well, what is it? I'd assume some further fins on the side of the head. It makes it look quite dragonish. <laughs> now with the white clay, we are adding the teeth for a sharp teeth and the eye, well, the eyes and then some red clay for the iris. After oven hardening, I'll also paint a black um, iris right in the middle of this red circle. And then these horns. Also done with the Bordeaux red. Goes right in the middle. Make sure to cover the eyes just a little bit, just like that. And then there is another fin on the bottom side of the chest, the chest area, adding the head. And now I try to place everything onto the plate to be ready uh, for the oven hardening process. And it also makes it way more easy to work on the wings on the back. This will be the tail. The filling parts of the tail and also the wings um, I try to create with grey cardboard. At first I thought creating everything with clay, but well, these wings, these fins, this is all so thin. So why not use a different material like cardboard for this? Freshly baked body pieces. Looks like a Lego package. Well, we have to do some assembling. Um, where to start? Let's see. I think we should glue the head onto the body. This is the easiest part. Painting the iris and another black outline. And with the super glue, we get the head onto the body. I include a blueprint into the set, which you can get on clickin.com. So you not only get this gray cardboard, but also my blueprint. I'm not really sure how helpful this is. At least you get the shapes of my fins and wings, which I used in the final model. These will be the ones um, which will be added to the side of the head. 
Then we have the back, the tail fin. I'm sure there's a better way, an easier way to create it. But, uh, well, if you add the clay and the cardboard together, it will just look like this. And I like it. With the super glue, you can stick it together. Then we have four tiny wings, two slightly bigger ones and two slightly tinier ones. Again, leave down in the comments which Pokemon you would like to see next for one of the next videos. I try to create at least three Pokemon right now. So the wings, this was a little bit tricky. I glued these, um, well, bread pieces of the wings, the bones, onto the back side. Now adding the cardboard and getting it into shape after gluing it. I think this is the best way to put these two materials together. And now after clipping all the extra cardboard away, adding these two antennas. Are these really antennas? Not sure. And with the transparent polish, we make the mouth a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more shiny. And guys, now placing it onto the stand, I guess. That's it, shiny Mega Gyarados. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Wow, it's been a while since I created the last Pokemon. Let me know what I should create next. Leave it down in the comments. Have an amazing weekend. Stay safe, stay creative. Bye.